Hi, my name is Aaron Shaw. I'm an occupational therapist and a certified hand therapist at MoveMen. I want, today I want to answer the question that I get asked quite often, and that is, do I have carpal tunnel syndrome? Many, many people have symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, but they're, they can be confused with other types of nerve injuries or nerve inflammation and also tendinitis. So first of all, let me explain what carpal tunnel syndrome is. So carpal tunnel syndrome is inflammation of the median nerve as it goes through your wrist, through a tunnel in your wrist. If that nerve gets inflamed for any reason, if it gets uh, compression placed upon it, whether it's from the tendons around it or from the position of your wrist, then the nerve can't function normally. And when that happens, the most typical sign is numbness in the thumb, index, middle, and normally part of the ring finger. This can happen intermittently through the day or oftentimes at night so people can wake up in the morning and feel like their thumbs and index fingers are numb. Other symptoms include the hand feeling clumsy and weak, having a weak grip, and definitely a weak pinch, like trying to uh, turn, a door, turn a key in a door. So some of these symptoms are consistent with something that might be carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, one way to assess and see if these symptoms are reactive for you would be to place your wrist in a bent position and keep it there for 60 seconds. If you notice over those 60 seconds that the symptoms of any sort of numbness start to creep up and increase, that might be a sign that you have carpal tunnel syndrome. One thing to be careful with is, uh, re is realizing that there are several causes of numbness in the hand. So what we do at movement as part of our full assessment is that we see if there are other causes of numbness. One thing that gets overlooked often is that some numbness in the hand comes from the cervical spine, from the nerves that are being pinched in the cervical spine. So the first thing we do is an assessment to clear that to make sure the symptoms aren't coming from the neck. We also will do a thorough assessment of uh, other symptoms throughout the arm. And the good news is, is that carpal tunnel syndrome can be treated. Worst case scenario, there is a surgery, but conservative treatment can be quite successful. So some of the things we can do are splinting. So often people will see a splint similar to this. There are, um, that's what this looks like. Often there are some exercises that can be done and a lot of ergonomic education and activity modification. So if you find that by placing your wrist in a bent position for a minute makes these symptoms worse, and if you're waking up in the morning and you're finding that at least three of your fingers are numb, and if that happens intermittently throughout the day, those are signs that you may have carpal tunnel syndrome. If that's the case, that's something that we specialize in here at MoveMen. So give us a call, 206-641-7733, or you can go online and schedule an appointment directly from our website, and that is movemend.info.